This 20-year-old Filipino has went through adversity, from having his college admission snatched up from him to not getting any playing time on his basketball team, but now he has the hopes of a whole nation as he makes a comeback to America. What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. Today I want to talk about Kobe Paras, a 20-year-old Filipino who was a McDonald's All-American and went through multiple ups and downs, but now is finally making his return to America. Show the power of the all-day community by hitting that like button. It really helps out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks and everything basketball related. Link is in the description. Alright, let's get into it. Kobe Paras is the son of famous Filipino basketball legend Benji Paras and has had a lot of spotlight on him growing up. In high school, Kobe Paras transferred from La Salle Green Hills to Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, California. So he made the jump from the Philippines to America. There he would pack gyms just like Lonzo Ball did because he was the future of Philippine basketball, or so that was thought. He racked up multiple awards and would help Cathedral to the regional championship game. In his senior year, he would play for Millbrooks Academy prep team due to some eligibility conflicts due to his transfer from the Philippines. Kobe Paras would become a McDonald's All-American and lead his team to the PEC 6 Conference Championship. Everything was going great and he had committed to UCLA. But then, out of nowhere, UCLA withdrew their offer after he had committed because Kobe apparently failed to meet academic requirements. But that's just a bunch of baloney. That was a lie because Kobe was an honor roll student, a National Honor Society member, and much more. He was a great student, but unfortunately, it didn't work out with UCLA. Now it was devastating for Kobe because that was where he wanted to go and that was always the plan. So to be that close and then just have it snatched away from you incorrectly, especially handling it as a teenager, it was hard. After the whole UCLA debacle, he had so many Division I schools offering to sign him, and he chose Creighton University and became the first Filipino to join their program. But Kobe didn't get an established role. Instead, he was a reserve, barely getting any playing time. It was all going downhill. Kobe even said, I had to literally face adversity man to man. He withdrew from Creighton and went back to his roots. Kobe Paras returned back to the Philippines with pride. He wanted to play for the flag, the Guias Pilipinas national team. He played for the 2017 FIBA 3v3 World Cup national team and extremely improved the team. With this experience, he's been learning more about playing in a system that doesn't necessarily work with him and how he has to adjust. He had to fight for minutes on the national team and earn every single minute he played. Now that's important because if Kobe Paras can adjust and do whatever a team needs, then he will have a valuable role anywhere, especially with his great skill set. Now it is Kobe's time. He is returning back to the States, this time playing for Cal State Northridge. But this time, it's a different Kobe Paras. He's matured in his time back in the Philippines and he has gone over the adversity, the hardship of losing out on UCLA and not getting playing time in Creighton. Most importantly, he has a loyal fan base, fans who want him to succeed. In the past, the fame has gone to his head, but now he has let that go after going through his struggles. It was his loyal fan base that got me doing this video. People wanted to see the video on Kobe Paras and that just shows how much support he really has. There are the haters who think that Kobe has let himself go, but he has been putting in hard work every single day. His passion for basketball is as strong as ever and now he has a fresh new start. The head coach, Reggie Theus, definitely will be a great guide for Kobe to guide through fame and how to make the NBA. Reggie was an NBA all-star and has invaluable experience to pass down. Not only that, but Kobe is going to get playing time and show what he can do. Kobe Paras is completely focused on making the NBA because that is the end goal, but at the same time, he wants to uplift Philippine basketball. I think it is great for Philippine basketball that there are so many young talents on the cusp of breaking through to the NBA. It will uplift the whole nation, increase basketball throughout the Philippines, and eventually increase basketball in general. If Kobe Paras keeps his new attitude up, I believe that he can go far. It's also great for international basketball that more international players are making a dent in the NBA, which is great for the game of basketball. Kobe Paras is so young, a 20 year old Filipino with a whole nation behind him. And now he's on the comeback, and he just might make the NBA. What do you think about Kobe Paras? Can he make the NBA? 
Let me know in the comment section down below and let me know if you want to see a video on more international players. Drop a like if you like this video, let's show the power of the all day community and get to 109 likes. The Instagram shoutouts of the day go to Tony Bushlow and the all day notification squad shoutout goes to Tanner2k. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure you hit that follow on Instagram at mj2k underscore all day and hit that notification bell for a chance to get shout out and to never miss all day content. Also, I got big news for everyone. These cases you see here are fire. I know you want these cases, so I got you. Use the link in the description and use promo code mj2k all day for 10% off. The subscribe button is right here, so click it for more fire content and all day support. It's your boy MJ, we out.